Welcome back. <laughs> Put in at James Creek and I'm just putting out right now and I see shad all over the surface of the water. So we're gonna put shad into that tank and then we're gonna put a striper on one of those four rods. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Striper. That's a big shad right there. Too big to use for bait. Now the measurement on them, it's a measurement on that one is 12 inches. So we can't use them for his bait. They gotta be shorter. They gotta be eight inches or less. That's the law. Law being what the law is, off it goes. You can't hardly see where I'm at, but you see there's a rock face here and I'm just tied off to the bank. I'm just downlining from the side, the edge right here. And I'm not trying to take any of this to the grave with me. I am in Shy Beaver, still back here in the cove here at Shy Beaver. So I just came back here. You guys who know this one, it's on the northern, the northern side of the cove. So on the left, as you're going out to the main channel, just this big rock face, it's up here. So I came out here to where it's deep enough to where I could hook up with a striper or a catfish or anything this lake has to offer, barring a lake trout. I don't think I could catch a laker here. But just about anything else I think would be here. Some dripping line, guys. Oh, he's running good, too. I didn't have the camera off too long. It was only about five minutes or something like that. So five minutes after I shut it off last. Oh, I'm a little worried. It started. Oh, okay. There it goes. It's like he didn't know he was caught for a second. Oh, he's coming in quick though. He's not fighting anymore. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Night time. Night time is bite time. This is Dad's rod again, too. Oh, baby. Run. <laughs> Nighttime fishing. I love it. Wow. Got a good fight going on. I'm really optimistic about this. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to keep my. Oh. <laughs> Let you guys enjoy that with me. Oh, man. Let me get the light set up a little better for you. So the old man's fishing stick, still getting it done. How cool is that? Oh, guys, what? What is going on right now? Oh, he wants to take it, but we're not letting him. He's coming back to me. He's coming in. <laughs> Not today, son. Not today. He's still there. I'm trying to be mindful of the other lines. If I had somebody on the boat right now, they'd be clearing lines for me, but... <laughs> you know, that's how it goes when you fish by yourself. Oh my gosh, I thought it wasn't recording. Come on, baby. I'm just standing up here to uh, pull up higher, get him, get him come up. Wow, guys, he real, he's a runner. What a good night. That feels like a nice fish. Feels like a nice fish, man. I should look at my butt the whole time. Though. Oh, there he goes again. Let's see if I can get him to come over to this side of the boat. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, I'm excited about this. Let's get this guy in the boat. So he keeps taking a line, and then I take it back. So I have my drag set so that I can, I have 17 pound test on. So I have right now, I got uh, uh, my main line is 30 pound. 
and then 17 pound test. I think he's getting close. Yeah, he's getting real close to the bank here. He's right beside the boat here. I'm gonna get the net ready. Still trying to take it, but I'm not letting him. I still haven't seen him. I don't I don't know what it is yet. There he is. There he is, baby. Got him. Got him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can catch that that net job, but we did it. We did it. What a blast. What a blast. Okay. I don't want to put my fingers in there until I get that hook out of there. There we go. Let's bring him up so you guys can see him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Let me move that light so you can see him a little better. I'll just have to suffer with the, the bugs. Oh, baby. <laughs> Nighttime striper and... <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh. Guys, I gotta get on the other line. Oh, is that it? I don't know what took it, but he ripped. Oh man, did he rip off with it. Look at that. So <laughs> he destroyed my bait, but I'm telling you five minutes here at this spot, five minutes. That was a hard hit too. Mm. I'm gonna get these lines back out, man. Oh man, the way that one ripped, I have to assume that was a, that was a striper also. Ooh. Okay, where am I? Where's my fish grippers? I don't need them. Oh. <laughs> One last look at him there and I'm gonna release him. One last look at him. Oh, I should measure him. <laughs> I always forget. I should measure. 33, 33 inches. And he's chomping on my finger here. 33 inches. <coughs> oh my gosh, guys. I am I am literally choking on bugs. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Let's get this net out of the way. Get him in the water. So I don't, I don't know the best way to do this. I'm just keeping them in the water until I think he's ready. And they start kicking when they're ready, so it's not hard to tell, but I don't really move them at all. I just kind of hang on to them and let them, you know, tell me. I let them tell me. But his, his gills are working. He's doing fine, I think. So he's a healthy fish. It'll be no problem. I can feel the life coming back to his jaws. He's kind of biting my thumb. Yeah. I can tell. He wants to go. I'm just waiting for him to kick off. I'm barely holding him. Sometimes I'll rock him back and forth a little. So just kind of like that. I'm exaggerating. But I'll just rock them a little bit. Basically, I'm letting them feel my uh, the pressure. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I thought. I let him feel the pressure from my thumb in his mouth. And I think it startles him a little. But I can see his fins. He's, he's working his fins. He, he's about ready to go. I'm going to give him a little... Well... I could probably just push him and he'd go because I see his tail pushing. 
and he wants to go. I'm gonna let him. Well, that's cool. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, hopefully. Oh man, I hope that release came out really good on the GoPro. He kind of, he kind of kicked off and came back under the boats. So he kind of got to get to see him go by broadside. I didn't think that would work, releasing at night, but that light here on my catch side, if that looked good, if you liked the way it looked under there, give me a thumbs up, okay? And if you haven't done so, subscribe, but give me a thumbs up, man. I appreciate that. It lets me know what I'm doing is something you guys dig, so I'm glad you guys are here for it. Let's get some more bait out, see what happens. <laughs> you can tell I'm, ex I'm excited. Whoo! I gotta say, I think I know what that was. Well, that's something with teeth. You know what I mean? That was either a walleye or it was uh, a muskie. Something little probably, but still would have liked to caught it. I only say it's li Did that line just get hit? I want to say it was little because if it was bigger, it would have just consumed it. Usually, at least that's that's how I deal with the disappointment of missing those fish. <laughs> it was a little one. You didn't want to catch it anyway. I find myself often talking to folks from over at Raystown, and I want to press upon everybody that, just like me, you can come out here to this wonderful lake and kind of stumble your way through it and still find some success catching these perch left and right and they end up chewing up a bunch of my bait which actually uh, kind of hinders me for the rest of the night and it kind of slows me down but i just want to encourage folks that if you're nervous about fishing raystown lake because you're not sure of how to do certain things don't let that stop you from coming out here because the simplest methods when worked hard will generate results stick to the basics and just work hard at them and you'll be able to put fish in the boat so you can be just like me and just stumble your way to success i hope to see you out there doing that good luck guys so i have about two dozen shad that i caught cast netting and if this rate of catching stays up we're going to use them but that's okay i know how to catch them so we'll just go get some more number one rod went Oh, okay. All right, swimming right under the boat for some reason. Can't see because of the light. <laughs> So I had to net him on the other side of the boat. When I'm night fishing up here, I feel like I can always count on catching a cat or two. Um, it's just a healthy, it's a healthy channel cat population here. Just a little guy. Just, just a little thing. So I'm just going to toss it back. A little channel cat. He's actually biting the. There you go. They got good jaws on them. Well, everything was going great until uh, it started raining. I don't have a bimini for on my boat, so I just stretched the tarp out and then I stuck the net up. So that's my. <laughs> that's my. It's my hokey system, but it got me out of the rain. None of that. We got fishing to do. Um, I survived. I got my hoodie on. But honestly, guys, I tell you, the water just, everything just seems flat. Like it just shut down. Got real quiet. Very little activity. Uh, no bites there since the last you saw me. Like the rods have just been sitting dry. So I'm going to pull them and just look at the baits and then get them back out just so that we're ready for the morning bite, if there is one. First thing in the morning, we got a rip going.
one's going too. So I got two lines going. I got the old man's rods going also. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna handle one at a time. Come on. I'm gonna tighten the drag a little bit here. Handle one at a time. Feels like a heavy fish. Got a good body. Stripping line a little bit. Ooh. Well, I hate to say it, but I think the other line might have lost it. Catfish is in the net. We're gonna see if I still have something on my dad's line. I saw it pop up. It kind of lost all tension, so I'm not too optimistic. I don't know if I get hung up on something here. It's like I broke it free, and then it's immediately snagged again. So unfortunate. Okay. Got one in. Lost the other. I don't know a better way to handle that. You know, if you get two fish on at the same time. You just have to give your attention to one of them. Oh, you channel cat fishermen. There's a channel cat for you. In all its glory. <laughs> I like the channel cat fishing here at Raystown Lake. We're letting this one go, though. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it. But it was raining for about two hours last night and I don't have a bimini cover. So I just took my tarp in, in bushcraft form <laughs> and I just set up my tarp in a way that it kind of covered everything on the boat. But I must have done a pretty good job because two hours of steady rain and everything stayed dry. But I'm just putting a polymer on here. So two hours of underneath my tarp, my makeshift tarp set up and everything was dry. That's our polymer there. This is a really simple rig. I use this for all my, uh, for almost all my striper and you know, it's just a, a weight above a swivel and my leader down to a hook. So this is the rig I'm using for all this fishing I'm doing right now. I just have an egg sinker just sliding free on my main line. This is 30 pound. And then I have a leader with a swivel here. The swivel stops the, bear, the, the egg sinker from going anywhere. You can put a bead on there if you want to protect the knot. Um, I've never worried about it. I've never had an issue. But uh, I have a swivel. And then it goes all the way down the leader. 17 pound leader to my hook of choice. And I just get a hook that's going to suit the size of bait that I'm using. Good rule of thumb is just uh, get some fours, fives, and sixes. <laughs> As far as you know, four aught, five aught, six aught hooks, and just keep them in your kit. Ooh, <laughs> something just jumped right at the boat, but I'm, I got a, I got a hit too. So I'm having a mad run on my bait this morning. I'm getting stripped less left and right. I don't know if people are talking about that, but the hook has to match what your bait is. So I'll show you what I'm using. So that's my main line down from the fishing rod. I just, uh, I just take an egg sinker and I thread it on. So that just slides right on like that. And then I have a, a leader, 17 pound. Right, so my main line here, this is 30 pound. And then my leader is fluorocarbon and this is 17 pound. And I tied a swivel on the end of it there. And I attach that swivel. Then what I end up with is a, a sinker that'll slide like this, 
and then hit that swivel and stop. Well, that's important because whenever the when this is laying on the bottom, if uh, a catfish or something picks this up, it'll actually take it without any weight. See what I mean? So when they take the bait, it won't have resistance from the line. That's important. And then the hook just has to match the size of the bait. That's all. So I'm putting a smaller, a smaller uh, bait on today. Right there. Just about the size of my finger. I think this is a four or five. I'm pretty sure this is a four actually. You can hook them a couple ways. You can do side to side or you can go up. I prefer to do up. So that's kind of what we're looking for. That's kind of what we're looking for. With a, a hook to suit the bait. Let's get this guy in the water so he's doing his job. Number two. Oh, and number one. Oh, it, just, it was snagged. Oh. oh. This is the one that has the fish on. Perch. Jeez. There's a couple perch. I saw them down in the water. They were just swimming by, wrecking havoc on my shad. They got them ripped up. They're dead. Both of them. Oh, looks like I might still have one on here. Oh. Is it perch? Brought him right to the surface, and then he spit it right at the boat. Well, you saw. I'm actually in a little bit of a pickle. Man, we we went through some bait. I'm dealing with these perch. So I'll rebait these and send them out. And I think I'm just about out of bait. Oh, guys, we had a huge rip right now out of number one. It just ripped and ran and then stopped. got into a tree branch or something. Dang it, man. Huge rip. Just zzzz and then out. It happens so fast, I can't get it on film, man. Ugh. I'm going through baits so fast this morning. I got three baits left, man. Three baits. A lot of missing, so the perch have been ripping, you know, been ripping me off. I had more than two dozen. I thought that would be good for the morning. If I was perch fishing, this would be great, but my striper fishing this morning is being wrecked by perch, I believe. So I think my, I think my fishing trip is being botched by perch I shouldn't complain perch fishing can be really productive but I'm not taking anything home with me but those are good eaters but I'm gonna put that one back so you can come out and catch them there he comes a little water snake can't help but think that the striper would eat that how cool would it be if he just hopped up bam striper hit that guy Give me a positive ID on this snake, guys. There is a fish over here just tearing this bank up. You guys tell me what you think that is. I'm thinking that's just a carp. But I can't really get a good clean shot of him. I can't really see his fins. I'll try to blow him up, but man. He's been tearing that bank up all morning. I think it's just a carp. What do you guys think? That's what I was waiting for. <clears throat> I'm 
sure that's another perch. I'm about to put my last shad on and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm about ready to move on. All right, I'm gonna try and get this on film because it's funny. They're right here at the boat. I must have a swarm of them. <laughs> and I just lowered the shad down the water so he doesn't die if he's in the water. And they just started, you know, going for him. So I had to pull him out and he's dangling here. Just trying to survive. <laughs> Watch. We'll just put him in the water a little bit here. There he is. <laughs> this this must happen. It's for prosperity. <laughs> oh, he's taking him. He wants him. <laughs> So, I mean, there's just tons of them here. This is where you go to do some perching. I'm not trying to keep any secrets. Uh, that is shy beaver right back there. This is just this rock wall that's up here. Um, it's beyond the, the S2 sign, you know. So, you just come out here and soak some shad and you should be able to pick up a few perch anyway i haven't even made it out of the cove we caught a striper a couple cats a couple perch not bad It might be the rain that chased me off the water. <laughs> Look, I was on the water all night in the rain. I don't want to be on the water all day. Whatever, I'm getting off the water, I'm weak. 